Indeed, political battles, military campaigns and economic vicissitudes pale in importance when measured against the impact of even a single epidemic. In this specific moment in time, we are experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic, which is creating quite a few problems for many of us. But the world and the human species has been dealing with pandemics for as long as we can remember, some of which have been utterly terrifying. On this video, we will see the worst pandemics in terms of human death count the world has ever seen. Number 10. The Plague of Athens. Date 431 to 404 BC. Disease, a multitude of possible diseases. Estimated number of deaths, 300,000. Causative agent, not fully understood. Location, Greece. Thanks to recent molecular investigations, scholars have pinpointed typhus with a combination of other diseases as the possible cause. Although more recent scholars suggested that it arose from other diseases, such as bubonic plague, Lassa fever, scarlet fever, tuberculosis, measles, typhoid and more. Classical Greek people cremated their dead, which made it difficult to come to a consensus. However, in the mid-1990s, an extremely rare mass burial oval pit containing approximately 150 dead bodies was discovered. A molecular DNA study of teeth from several individuals came back positive only for Salmonella enterica, enteric typhoid fever. Many of the clinical symptoms of the plague of Athens do suggest modern day typhus, for instance fever, rash, diarrhea, but other features don't, such as the rapidity of the onset. Either the disease evolved since the 5th century BC or Greek writers got some things wrong. Number 9. The Third Cholera Pandemic. Date 1846-1860. Disease Cholera. Estimated number of deaths 1 to 1.5 million. Causative agent, strains of the bacterium Vibrio cholerae. Location, various countries, including India, Russia, Africa and more. Cholera is an infection of the small intestine. The classic symptoms are large amounts of watery diarrhea, vomiting and muscle cramps, leading within hours to severe dehydration and electrolyte imbalance. This can cause the skin to turn bluish. Symptoms start two hours to five days after exposure. Cholera is spread mostly by unsafe water and unsafe food that has been contaminated with human feces containing the bacteria. Undercooked Seafood is a common source too, and humans seem to be the only ones affected. Risk factors for the disease include poor sanitation, not enough clean drinking water, and poverty. The third cholera pandemic was the third major outbreak of cholera originating in India in the 19th century. It reached Russia, where more than 1 million people died, and there were 23,000 deaths for all of Great Britain, claiming lives in Asia, Europe, Africa and North America. Although much is known about the mechanism behind the spread of cholera, this has not led to a full understanding of what makes cholera outbreaks happen in some places and not others. Bodies of water have been found to serve as reservoirs, and seafood shipped long distances can spread the disease. Number 8. The Asian flu pandemic 1957. Date 1957. Disease influenza. Estimated number of deaths 1 to 2 millions. Causative agent influenza A subtype H2N2. Location worldwide. The 1957 flu pandemic outbreak of influenza started in East Asia and subsequently spread to countries worldwide. This virus was a mixed species strain originating from strains of avian influenza and human influenza viruses. In the 1960s, the human H2N2 strain underwent a process known as antigenic drift, a series of minor genetic modifications. In the first months of the 1957 flu pandemic, the virus spread throughout China and surrounding regions. By midsummer, it had reached the United States. Several months later, numerous cases of infections were reported. This was the result of a second pandemic wave of illness that struck the Northern Hemisphere, while at the same time spreading through the UK. The second wave was particularly devastating, and by March 1958, an estimated 69,800 deaths had occurred in the United States alone. Number 7. World War I Typhus Epidemic. Date 1917-1918. Disease Typhus. Estimated number of deaths 3 millions. Causative agent Pediculus humanus humanus. Location Europe. Epidemic typhus has always accompanied disasters such as famine, cold and wars which tend to set it off. On the Eastern Front during World War I, it led to the death of thousands. Clinical manifestations of epidemic typhus are sudden onset of fever with painful myalgia, a severe headache, sometimes cough, abdominal pain, nausea and diarrhea. The rash beginning a few days after the onset of symptoms appearing as a red macula or maculopapula eruption. In the worst cases, gangrene and necrosis of toes and fingers that necessitate amputation or 
also occur. Epidemic typhus is an unpredictable disease that can suddenly re-emerge when social organization is disrupted. On the Eastern Front, during World War I, intense shelling of Serbian cities destroyed the existing infrastructure and drove the population to the streets. Malnutrition, overcrowding and the lack of hygiene paved the way for typhus. It soon then spread rapidly among the troops. One year after the outbreak of hostilities, typhus killed 150,000 people. The mortality rate reaching an epidemic peak of approximately 60 to 70 percent. It was during the hard winter of 1917 to 1918 that the biggest outbreak of typhus in modern history began. In Russia, that had already been devastated by famine and war. After World War I, between 1919 and 1923, there were 5 million deaths in Russia and Eastern Europe because of the third pandemic vectored by body lice. Number 6. The Third Plague Pandemic Date 1899 Disease Bubonic Plague Estimated number of deaths 12 millions Causative agent Yersinia pestis Location Worldwide The Third Plague Pandemic originated in the Yunnan region of southwest China, where the plague caused multiple outbreaks in 1772, spreading globally. DNA studies have identified Yersinia pestis, the etiological agent of the Third Pandemic, as the cause. Although, in the case of the Third Plague, it will be distinct strains of Yersinia pestis from the previous plague. Lakes. It was then carried by ships to Japan, Singapore, Taiwan and the Indian subcontinent spreading around the world, with cases primarily found in coastal or inland port cities. There are also accounts of bubonic plague transmissions without a clear association with rats, the traditionally commonly blamed carriers, probably from infected vectors. As it is still the case for today, vermin infestations back then were associated with poverty and unhygienic living conditions, often in the poorest quarters of the cities. The unfavorable hygienic conditions essentially connected with social misery. Number 5. The Antonine Plague. Date 165 to 180 AD. Disease smallpox. Estimated number of deaths 5 millions. Causative agent variola major and variola minor. Location the known world. The Roman world was no stranger to lethal epidemics. Systematic records over long periods suggest a significant disease outbreak occurred roughly every 10 to 20 years. But the Antonine Plague stood out for its force and catastrophic virulence. In the words of a 170 AD senator, the pestilence so great that it could not be cured by any medicine. When it first struck, Gallen, the one available medical observer, soon abandoned Rome, where the disease killed almost all his slaves. He also witnessed the return of the plague in 168 AD, which forced the two emperors out of Aquileia, one of them dying soon after. The historian Dio witnessed one of the later outbreaks in 189, which he says killed 2,000 people per day, and even two centuries later, the leading historian Ammianus Marcellinus described the Antonine Plague as an event which, in his own words, after generating the virulence of incurable disease polluted everything with contagion and death from the frontiers of Persia all the way to the Rhine and to Gaul. Current research continues to identify the Antonine Plague as smallpox, with a fatality rate of 25-30% to 30 with regional variation. Children were particularly vulnerable and cold winters and low rainfall were especially favourable to smallpox. Number 4. Coco Lisley. Date 16th century. Disease Salmonella enterica. Estimated number of deaths 5 to 15 millions or more. Causative agent Paratyphi C. Location Aztec Empire present-day Mexico. In about 40 years, the Aztec population was reduced of about 90% going from 20 million to possibly as low as 2 millions because of the epidemic called by the locals Coco Litsley, the Great Pestilence, which probably included one or more illnesses. Symptoms were usually high fevers and bleeding. It had devastating effects on the area's demography, particularly for the indigenous people, with little consensus among modern researchers of the pathogenesis. However, recent bacterial genomic studies have suggested that Salmonella, specifically a type of Salmonella enterica was at least partially responsible for the initial outbreak, facilitated by the worst droughts to affect the region in five centuries and the poor living conditions for indigenous people in the wake of the Spanish conquest. Depictions by both Spanish and indigenous artists show the infected with nosebleeds and coughing up blood. When Europeans entered the Americas, historical records show that they brought a number of infectious diseases with them. These diseases disproportionately impacted native people because they hadn't developed any immunity. To them. Number 3. The Justinian Plague. Date 6th century. Disease Bubonic Plague. Estimated number of deaths 25 to 100 millions. Causative agent 
Yersinia Pestis, location, several regions of the Eastern Empire, and further. The plague broke out in the Egyptian port of Pelusium in October 541 AD, hitting several regions in the Mediterranean basin in a succession of waves, taking its name for the Byzantine Emperor of the period Justinian. It had major demographic impact, reducing the possibility of recruitment of the Roman legions and leading to a significant drop in tax revenues, which were essential to sustain the state and its military machine. In the space of over two centuries, plague epidemic paralyzed most trade and commercial exchanges. By the time the plague had run its course, circa 750 Anno Domini, the death toll was upward of 30 million with a standard figure of 50 million agreed at least by some scholars. Now it is possible that earlier analysis of the mortality and social effects of the plague were exaggerated, but the impact of the plague in terms of lives lost was still atrocious. Number two, the Spanish flu. Date 1918. Disease influenza. Estimated number of deaths 50 million. Causative agent strains of AH1 and one. Location worldwide. In the autumn of 1918, a deadly pandemic swept the world. The so-called Spanish influenza pandemic and its most deadly side effect, pneumonia, killed between 50 and 100 million people. The epidemic created havoc in the medical profession because apparently it ran rampant and it could not be stopped. And doctors and researchers were baffled by the influenza etiology, the symptoms it displayed, and the spread, forming a re-evaluation of government's role in caring for its constituents. All of this immediately following the bloody conflict known as World War I. There was an alarming rise in sudden pneumonia deaths and an unusual proclivity for young adults to fall victims to the disease, with its victims being attacked with a fever of 101 to 104 Fahrenheit, headache, inflammation of the mucous membranes of the nose, very strong rigors similar to cold water running down the back, a very strong stench, hearing loss, loss of smell, repeated epistaxis, all the way up to 12 ounces of blood at a time, with the highest incident of death between 25 and 40 year olds. Number 1. The Black Death. Date 1346-1353. Bubonic plague. Estimated number of deaths 75 to 200 million. Causative agent Yersinia pestis bacterium. Location Eurasia and parts of Africa. The deadliest pandemic ever witnessed by man was the Black Death or the Black Plague. It killed off between 30 to 60 percent of the entire population of Europe at the time. A bacillus possibly transmitted by rat fleas led to an ecological reign of terror, killing one European in three, wiping out entire villages, towns, and cities. The Black Death was an epidemic which spread across almost all of Europe caused by the Yersinia pestis, an extremely ancient road-shaped cocoa bacillus. Recently, researchers have identified the earliest known strains of Yersinia pestis in Europe dating as far back as the Stone Age. In rodent colonies, the bacillus lives in the gut of Rhinopsilla chiopis, and it's transmitted back and forth between the flea and the rodent. The disease can remain endemic to rodent colonies indefinitely and does not need Homo sapiens to survive. When the disease does break out of its natural environment, it spreads out into human communities as an epidemic. It abandons its rodent host when it dies. The secondary manifestation occurs when the bubonic plague bacilli settle in the lungs of the victim. The victim develops a severe pneumonia and soon begins to cough up enormous amounts of blood. Pneumonic plague is nearly always fatal. The secondary form of plague is also very infectious between humans and is independent of flea transmission. The disease being spread by airborne droplets from the victim's cough and can infect an entire household within a matter of minutes. The third form of plague is the most rare of the three. Known as septicemic plague, this clinical manifestation station occurs when the bacilli have managed to bypass the lymphatic system and enters the bloodstream directly. Death occurs within hours and there are often no accompanying symptoms. It seems probable that the 14th century manifestation, the so-called Black Death of the Plague, was a new mutant strain. It may have originated in Central Asia and been spread by the new trade routes established by the Mongols. Wherever it hit, it did with devastating force.